All right, so with our image optimizing CDN that we launched a couple of years, we sometimes get people that are stripping query strings and that causes issues with CDN. So um, it's something Adam and I have talked about and we've you know had to discuss it with customers and I thought, I need to talk about this sometime and I was gonna do a video anyway, so I was like, hey, I'll do it today. So why are query strings? So the common perception is that removing query strings from static resources speeds up your site. And you can search for that and find hundreds of articles that will tell you that. Um, so first of all, what's a static resource? It's a file that doesn't change frequently as opposed to something dynamic. Um, this includes images, your style sheets, your JavaScript fonts, uh, videos, probably other things, but those are the main ones. And then what are query strings? Um, it's the portion after the question mark. So if there's a question mark in a URL, it has a query string. So the supposed problem with putting query strings on static resources is that according to uh, the old GT metrics page, proxies, most notably squid, up through version 3.0 do not cache resources with a question mark in their URL. So that's a problem, right? Well, it was, um, but what's a proxy server first? Most simply, as I have here, it's a server that's sitting in between two other computers. Um, so whether it's run by an internet provider that puts a proxy server in front of all their customers and so all their searching and browsing and everything goes through the proxy server and that proxy server is able to keep a copy of all the stuff they download so that if someone else downloads it, it comes from the proxy server and doesn't have to travel clear across the internet. Um, the other style of proxy server is a reverse proxy. Um, so the, the first type, that's what squid is, and that's what the problem was, was that type of internet provider proxy server that was for caching. Um, then you have reverse proxies like Cloudflare, um, Nginx, and there's a couple others that are similar to Cloudflare. Um, and those sit in front of your website and cache resources from your, your website because some web server software isn't very efficient at delivering static resources. Notably, Apache um, is really great at serving web pages, but not so hot at doing JavaScript, CSS, and images. Um, it's a little sluggish on that kind of stuff and uses a lot of memory too. So, stop removing query strings. The version of Squid affected was released 13 years ago and was superseded by 3.1 10 years ago. Um, Google no longer recommends that you remove query strings. They removed that recommendation several years ago. And GT Metrics, either last year or the year before, removed it from their recommendations as well. So there's lots of plugins out there that will let you remove query strings. Uh, the only one that does it right that I know of is WP Rocket and I'll get to that in a second as well. Um, but there's tons of them. Uh, WP Fastest Cache. There's some that literally that's all they do is remove query strings and they're like five lines of code. <laughs> and what was the other one I was thinking of earlier? WP Fastest Cache. I don't remember, it doesn't matter. Don't use them. <laughs> there are some plugins that also don't need query strings uh, we were talking about Yoast, and that's one of the plugins that actually doesn't need query strings because they embed all their version numbers inside the file names of their CSS and JavaScript files, which is lots of fun if you have your website under version control. Yay me. <laughs> so removing query strings can make your life more difficult. Why? So here's some examples of why we use query strings. So for example, here's the jQuery script um, in core WordPress. The current one is 1.12.4. 
and so they add this nifty little version string that tell that differentiates this from this latter URL, the third one. Oh, I went too far. And so if they update the version of jQuery, it's going to have a new query string, and it's going to be seen as a new file by proxy servers and caches, which is a good thing. Because if you didn't have this query string, and all you had was this third URL, and you updated the jQuery file, and you had it cached, you wouldn't get updates. You would be stuck with the same old version of jQuery forever and ever, until it got deleted from the cache. Um, same with plugins. Um, lots and lots of plugins, of course, include JavaScript and CSS. Themes, of course, are loading lots of that sort of stuff. And they will include version strings as well, so that when you update the plugin, it has a new version and it becomes a new resource. These top two are not seen as the same file by any proxy server out there. But if you didn't have query strings, you followed the age-old advice to remove them, now you have this third guy, and every time you do a plugin update, your visitors are getting the old version still. So, just clear the cache, right? Just clear our proxy caches, clear our hosting cache, and then, then all our visitors get the, the new JavaScript and CSS. But a proxy is supposed to speed things up. And if you delete all the files that it had stored, now it has to start over again, just because you updated a plugin and needed to refresh one of your JavaScript files. So with a CDN, that's magnified with, you know, like WP Engine or Kinsta, where they have a, a cache system in front of your server. That's one system. With a CDN, you got 30, 40, 50, maybe 100 different servers out there or 200 servers and all of them now are empty if you have to clear the cache just for a single plugin update. <clears throat> so how to make sure your uh, caching system is honoring query strings, here's Cloudflare and of course their standard option is the right one which is to deliver a different resource each time the query string changes. You can, of course, change it if you're crazy, but if you're using WordPress, you shouldn't change it. You should just leave it the same on standard. Um, Security has a similar setting, I believe, when I was using them, um, that lets you honor the query strings, and StackPath as well with their uh, web application firewall, pretty much any similar system to Cloudflare that acts as a web firewall is going to have that sort of setting. One of the things we run into uh, from time to time is specifically with child themes. If you're using a regular top-level theme directly, um, they're going to update the version strings and everything's going to be happy and that version string usually comes from your main style.css file. Um, but sometimes when people do child themes, they follow the first instructions at this URL, which I should have had on here, but I don't. Um, but if you follow the first example, it doesn't put a version number at the end of your uh, default CSS file. So you want to make sure you follow the second example, which shows you how to get the version number from your style.css and attach it to the end of your uh, CSS file. So it's like two lines of code. It's pretty simple. So why keep the query strings? Because it makes your caching system or CDN more efficient, and that will make your site faster. Yay for faster. <laughs> 